Did you tell the police this? Uh, I did wrong to be sure. But I was weak. And when she offered me the money to see me loved ones in the old country, oh. I kept quiet. I never stopped to think of the wrong that we were. There. I know I promised never to speak a word of what I saw. But you asked for it. You can feel the insults and accusations this evening. I'm quite sure Nance would have enjoyed that little performance. But you haven't told Emma how I disposed of the clothing or the axe. Surely you're not pretending you've forgotten. Well, you know how it is. We old women living on our own. <laughs> She's right also about the bundle. I did take it from the house. I took away the hatch and dress. I, I did it for her. But you said a short while ago that I burned the dress. Oh, I was foolish. You know what you paid me for. But I think you can see your pain now. a fresh trial. Ah, oh, you wouldn't be after wanting that. This time they'd hang you. Or you. That slanderous talk you'd be making and I'm warning you, I'm nobody skinny any longer, so watch your talk! It is precisely because you are a skinny that you are able to stand there talking to me today. It was because you seemed a stupid, round-faced Irish maid that you were able to evade suspicion. Consider yourself one of the luckiest women in the world on that account, Bridget, because your alibi is bare looking into. I'll see a lawyer first thing in the morning, that's what I'll do. It's slanderous talk you're after making. And I'm warning you, we'll see whose stories I'll be believing. It sounds as if you've a busy day, Penny. Well, you'll not be so clever then. Careful not to overestimate your own cleverness. And now, as it's getting late, I think you better ought to go home and get some rest so that you can be fresh-faced and clear-headed for your talk with the lawyer in the morning. Huh. So it's throwing that jar. It might be seen that way, if you've a mind to it. Then good night to you. Not that way. You might be arrested as a common criminal. You'd be wise to keep innocent short. Locked up and out of her way. <laughs> <laughs>